Is the lighting okay here? Is the lighting okay here? I think it is. Actually, I think it's kind of fire. The summer travels are over. Back to our regular schedule program, guys. On my Instagram, I popped up a little question box asking what videos you wanted to see because now that summer is over and I can't milk my holidays for content, I actually have to think about my video ideas again. A few people wrote in current favorites or like favorites of the month and I love that idea. I did one of these videos before and I love watching these videos. I always find new great products through these videos and I personally just, I just love this content. So it's the content we're giving this week. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe share the video. We're trying to grow on YouTube guys, so I'd appreciate any support. I think we're gonna start off with makeup, okay? Are we ready? Ready for a little makeup moment? Okay, my favorite foundation. It's the only foundation I've happily used in the past year, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. It is fire. I just finished this one, so I got another one. So I genuinely do love these. By the way, this is all like not sponsored. This is all just genuine opinions, just in case for some reason you thought it was sponsored. <laughs> this is such a nice color. I have it on my face now. I actually didn't put on much and I also put it on hours ago, but it still looks good, right? I have terrible eyesight. I can kind of barely see myself in the viewfinder. It's so nice. So I got two foundations last year at the same time. I got the NARS Tinted Moisturizer and I got this. And the NARS Tinted Moisturizer was much more expensive and I don't even like it as much as this. I haven't even used it much. It's not gray, it's too lightweight. This has proper coverage, so it has medium coverage, but the texture's air light and it has a radiant finish and lasts up to 24 hours. <laughs> what more would you want? I think my camera's moving, hold on. If you're looking for a new foundation, I really recommend this. I have dry skin. This is meant to be good for normal and dry skin. So very, very, very much recommend. It also costs like a tenner and lasted me pretty much a year. So <laughs> funnily enough, I actually found this foundation in a favorites video ages ago. Paige Lorenz, guys. My girl hooked me up. Okay, next makeup product, Kosas Concealer. This concealer I saw on Hailey Weaver's TikTok and she was raving about how creamy it was. She was right. This is so good. I got it just when I was in New York there and I've been using it every day since. And I'm not a concealer girl. Sorry, I have terrible eyesight, but usually I would have like purpley color in here, um, but I'd never wear concealer because it used to always chalk up and be like cakey, I suppose is the word. But this one is really, really good. Also, are we dead at me having to hover over my table to actually see myself in the viewfinder? I need laser eye surgery. Okay. I had the expectations high, but the expectations were met. So these, the skin, the skin be glowing with these guys. Have never talked about this product before. A little bit obsessed with it. I was actually sent this product by this brand, but not sponsored, as I said before. It's a brand called Face Theory. It's a little bit of a mess because I did bring this on holidays and it did spill a little bit in my bag because I didn't close it properly. It's a vitamin C cream cleanser. So this is what I use every night to wash my face. So I am a CeraVe stan. We know CeraVe, right? I still use CeraVe, but I only use CeraVe in the shower. So I have my CeraVe in the shower when I'm washing my face in the shower. But if I'm washing my face and I'm not in the shower, it's this. This is what I'm using now and I'm loving it. It's a cream cleanser. So if I show you, it's super creamy and it's great for taking off makeup. And because it's a cream cleanser, it's not harsh. So it's nice in the morning as well. This has been actually a bit of a dream. I really like it. I hadn't any real expectations necessarily for the product, but it is checked out. It's really good. And it's unscented as well, which I love. And it has the vitamin C, which is great because I don't really want an 18 step skincare routine. So it's nice having the vitamin C in the cleanser. So I don't have to be worrying about getting a vitamin C. You know what I mean? I have a book to speak with you guys about and I'm obsessed with it. It was recommended to me when I put up a box on my Instagram again. <laughs> Love an old box on the Instagram. And it's called The Heart's Invisible Furies. The name doesn't give you much, but oh my God. It's a whopper of a book, by the way. 750 pages or something like that. This book is about being gay in Ireland in like the 50s, 60s. Wow such a story. I actually would really recommend it to anyone. I think anyone would enjoy this. I love when a good book is based in Ireland. Like for example, that other book, The Scorching Wind by Walter Mackin. Love that one too. That is more about like the revolution in Ireland. While this is more about like growing up gay in Ireland. And it's absolutely, I just, 
it just makes you feel so much you know what i mean and you just it's just very interesting how far we've come as a country in such a short space of time read it please read it i have two hair products that i love okay one if you're a straight hair girly which i'm not but i'm still obsessed with this color wow dream coat it's a humidity sealant that stops hair from becoming a hot mess in even the highest humidity when you come out of the shower you towel dry your hair and then you pop in like three or four pumps into your hair and then you do your usual styling like if you blow dry your hair or whatever and it makes it so sleek i'm a frizzy girl and this is amazing you know when you blow dry your hair and it has like the little poofiness to it and that's cute like that's definitely a moment of its own but you know when you want the sleek look this it is so good and then in contrast a curly hair product so this is the bumble and bumble bb curl light fining cream guys it's stunning i spoke about this in my french video but this is a massive favorite of mine come out of the shower with towel dry wet doesn't really matter put some product in your hands emulsify it in and turn your hair upside down scrunch it in you're done you're done the fact that you only need to put in the product once and your hair won't get frizzy is insane to me. I would have been the type that would have done the argan oil. Trash. Doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for my hair. You'd put it in, bop, 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 for a couple minutes and then it started frizzy again. Put some in, bop, 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 bop. Have to put some more in and then all of a sudden you have greasy hair. It's like there's no middle ground. It's either like frizzy or greasy. But this is stunning. Now, if you put in a lot, you kind of get the wet look curls, if that makes sense. So your hair looks like it's kind of out of the shower, like for the evening but that's definitely nice too. Loving these hair products. Next makeup product I don't have physically. I left it in my boyfriend's house, but it's NYX NYX Lip Liner. They cost like three euro. They're really, really good. And the color I'm obsessed with is called Mauve Mauve, M-A-U-V-E, I think. It's such a nice color. I don't have it on now. It slightly has a purpleness to it, but a brownie, light brown purple. It's really nice, trust me. It also costs three euro, no harm in trying it out. And the last makeup product is the Kiko lip glosses. I am obsessed. I've had this one for quite some time. It's like colored obviously, but it's so, so good. And I just got a clear one when I was in France there and I'm obsessed. I have some on now, it's not sticky. It kind of feels like you've put lip balm on as opposed to a gloss. Cause you know the gloss when your lips are like super tacky and like nasty, that's not the vibe you get with this. Loving this clear gloss. Perfume. So I have a perfume that I love and actually was in my last favorite video, I think. It's the new company perfume, but it's super, autumnal kind of masculine very strong smell of it and we came into spring and summer and i was like i need a new scent i need a scent that i love i mean like i love loads of perfumes but there was none that i was like obsessed with and so i made it my mission to find a scent that i was obsessed with this year and i found it and it is the replica's lazy sunday morning it is so good okay so how do they describe it here fragrance description soft skin and bed linen Okay, yes, sure. It has like a clean smell. Let me, sp let me just put on some more again. No, guys, I love it so much. It's like clean, but a little bit of floral. And yeah, I get what they mean by soft skin. It just feels, it smells like my mother's room growing up. I went through all of the replicas scents specifically because i just wanted to find my favorite one of those i think the jazz club is the one that's really popular and that kind of reminds me of the new co in the sense that it's like masculine strong autumnal smell in my opinion but this is so fresh and clean and spring <sighs> okay next one is earrings from gab's luck okay it's my current favorites I can talk about what I want to talk about. Gab's Luck is a jewellery company based in Ireland, uh, but ships worldwide. And I'm just, I'm just obsessed with everything. Okay. Gab's Luck is also my friend. Yes, I'm going to big up my friend, but like, look at how cute these earrings are. Obviously, I love all of her stuff, but this is what I'm currently like obsessed with right now. So there's these little gold hoops with orange little flowers on the bottom. And they just make any outfit look fun and groovy. You just look. 
okay i actually have so much of her stuff like right here in my jewelry box this necklace that matches those earrings is also so cute like goodbye goodbye we just love gab's look around here i think she will always be included in the favorites also would you like a favorite video every month someone said that in the instagram box that i put up and i was like i don't know if i'm gonna have many new favorites every month but maybe like every two months would that be an idea also guys this cup she's going in my favorites so gabby miss gab's look had these when we lived together up in dublin and i drank so much water and i hate water guys and i came home and had to buy one of these so that i could keep up with my water intake okay hear me out there's something about a straw and there's something about a flat lid. Like, you know when you get an iced coffee and they're in the domes and they have paper straw? Like, no hate to the turtles, but it just makes the coffee four out of 10 straight away. But a flat top and a nice plastic straw, 10 out of 10 coffee. I'm right. Think about it, I'm right. This little bad boy. I have talked about this before, but I love her so much. Walida, Walida, I think is how it's pronounced, is a New Zealand brand. So it's meant for really, really dry skin. So like it says, like to put on your elbows and dry, dry skin. But it's so good before you're putting on makeup. So good. So there are two options for the skin foods. There's a light green and then there's this kind of deeper green. The lighter green isn't as rich. Like this is super, let me show you. It's so thick that it's kind of takes a second to kind of rub in. Does that make sense? It's very rich, but it's so good for dry areas. So let's say coming into the winter now, if you get like a dry area here in your forehead or anything like that, this boy, you can get them in boots. So come on girlies, a little bit random, but it is something I'm currently loving right now is saunas. Random, I know. With the gym membership I have, there's a sauna there and guys, it is so relaxing. Myself and my mom sometimes just like click into the gym and just go straight into the sauna. I actually feel like such self-care, like so luxurious, your body, you're minding your body, but it's also like so warm and I love the heat. I'm just obsessed with saunas right now. And there's a sauna place that's opened up just like five minutes from my house and it's called Fad Seal Saunas, which means long life in English. And I love going to them. Like if myself and Peter are like having a date night, <laughs> we like go to the sauna before we like go get food and there's something about it that's just so luxurious this is this is your late 20s guys okay we go to saunas for fun but that one is really cool i actually was thinking about doing a vlog there but i just also didn't know if that was a bit weird but anyways i would recommend and definitely could put up their instagram here the idea is to do all together like 30 minutes in the sauna i think so you can do like 10 minutes a break 10 minutes break in 10 minutes there's so many benefits to going into the sauna and i think when you hit the 30 minute mark in a day or something and be really good for you so you do like however long you can do and then you come out and then you like pour ice on yourself ice water and it's actually so fun and then you like sit out and chill and it's really beautiful so yeah i'm a little lover of the saunas recently dun, dun, dun. i always talk about this because i love it super goop glow screen i was never an spf girl till i found this and because i love it so much i always remember to put it on I'm supposed to be wearing spf every day I'm meant to be reapplying spf every day even though i'm looking up at the sky and it's so cloudy i'm doing it i'm doing it i ain't gonna be wrinkly guys i ain't gonna be wrinkly but it is really nice it has such a nice finish it's not tinted but if you actually look there is like there's a color on it if if you get me so it is really nice on your skin if you're not wearing any makeup or anything your skin looks so nice and glowy and not red if that makes sense last skincare product she is the isle of paradise self tanning drops i got the dark ones so that i don't have to use a lot of products especially because we're big spf girlies over here with the face then the face is a different color to the body in the summer and that's not actually very cute you know surprisingly not very cute so this on the face is a dream i have been enjoying it a lot i do have a very weird relationship with tan like i do hate it so We'll see if I like this by the end of the winter. I like, I really like it right now. I, I, it's being added to the favorites, so I, I do like it. Current favorite TV show I'm watching is called Blackbird and it's on Apple TV. Guys, 
so good there's only like six episodes i think and i think there's only one season so i feel like it's hard to get like, i'm like really excited about this and it's going to be done probably in like two days but so good so it's kind of like a crime tv show crime thriller there's a serial killer that it's very good and has the guy in it that played elton john would recommend i don't think i've any movie favorites i mean i went to see um where the crawdads sing that was good i've read that book would recommend that book as well and then i saw the elvis movie that was good wasn't it i love movies do you know what we're coming into september now and it's always the best time for movies summer is never good for movies in my opinion but oh i can't wait i can't wait to be going to the cinema every friday evening again so good okay other things that came into my head when i was thinking of current favorites right hear me out i was thinking of an app that i'm currently loving keep hearing me out it's an app called marco polo okay i need to preface this right so i lived away from home and found it really hard to call my mom and facetime her and give her a proper rundown of my life and get a proper rundown in her life and i found like sometimes if we got a facetime like, you might be able to chat for a little bit of time but you weren't able to like fully get everything you were thinking of saying and it just used to really like drive me daft and even there's something different about seeing the person's face so mom had me download this app she's obsessed with this app by the way she communicates with all of her friends via this app you basically send videos so let's say i am i have free time and i can chat i will chat for like three minutes on this app and then it just sends off and then she can like watch it whenever and then reply whenever when you're chatting to them you can see they're like so comfortable and just chatting away and you get like you just feel connected with them there's something about it so i have the app for like years but i only have my mom as a friend on it but i'm going to make my friends that are abroad download it and talk to me on it because it just is such a good way to keep connected download it and see what you think because it's actually really good it's very hard to explain an app when you can't see show it but it's very key if you're going to be abroad or you have a friend that's going away abroad i would definitely recommend downloading the app so yes, they're all my current favourites. It's so nice to be sitting down taking a video again. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and share it to anyone, even just one person you think would enjoy it. I feel like sharing the videos is key. So let's do that. Will we do that? Come on, guys. Let's do this thing.